Hi, my name is Michelle Tobert. I'm an Ethan P. Case liaison at Fleet and Family Support Center Naval Base Coronado. Today, I'm here to provide you with a brief overview of the program as well as to address any questions such as, what is Ethan P? How do I even enroll? Am I even eligible? How will this program benefit me and my sailor? Also, I aim to provide you with a brief insight as to what the roles and responsibilities are of Ethan P representatives in your local area. So let's get started. So the primary goal of the EFMP program is to be a detailing tool. It allows service members to be detailed in areas where the special needs dependence needs to be met in the gaining area. The secondary um, goal of the program is the navigation of support resources. Once you're enrolled into the EFMP program, you'll be assigned to an EFMP case liaison like myself. We serve as a subject matter expert of nonprofit resources in the local area outside of the traditional medical um, support. How will this program benefit me and my sailor? You have access to the continuity of care. So when you are negotiating or, um, orders, once you get to your new location, you know the resources are, go are going to be available to you in the gaining area. It lessens the geo-bad situations. You have access to priority housing. So priority housing allows service members to get into housing quicker um, in order to reestablish those services that are needed. Track your echo and Navy respite. So track your echo is a subsidy program to track your prime and select. It traditionally covers benefits that are not traditionally covered under TRICARE Prime or SELECT, such as um, ABA services or in-home nursing or durable medical equipment. Uh, Navy Respite. Um, Navy Respite offers up to 40 hours of in-home care. Um, it allows the service member or the, whoever the primary care provider um, to, is to take time for themselves. So Navy Respite is basically time to take care of yourself. It provides relief for that um, primary provider. Um, if all that inside the family is being taken care of, then you have the communication will also be enhanced inside the family sector. All right, so how does the EFP program benefit the Navy as a whole? So it um, enhances command readiness, it reduces the likelihood for early returns or humanitarian transfer outside of the command. Um, it also promotes retention and allows the service member to be more mission minded. Do I qualify for the EFP program? Let's see. If you can answer yes to any of these questions, then you are eligible to. Um, you meet the qualifying conditions to be a part of the program. So, um, does the dependent of the active duty sponsor or mobilized reservist reside with the reside with the sponsor? If no, then the EFMP um, that dependent does not qualify for the program. However, if yes, we have to answer more questions. Does the dependent take medications for six months or longer? Is the dependent seen at any specialty clinics or by any special care providers such as a cardiologist, a neurologist? behavioral health provider, orthopedics? Does the dependent receive early intermission services or special education support? Does the dependent receive services for a, a developmental delay? Does the dependent require adaptive equipment such as um, a home nebulizer, wheelchair braces, uh, hearing aids, uh, CPAP machines? If so, then you meet some of the qualifying conditions to roll into the program. All right, so who's eligible for the exceptional family member program? So you must be a dependent of an active duty um, service member or a mobilized reservist. You also have to be a military dependent that resides with the sponsor because of the detailing tool. Lastly, you have to have a medical, educational, psychological need for six months or longer. So after you um, feel like you meet the qualif qualifying conditions, um, the first step you will have to take will get in contact with the EFMP representative in order for you to be provided the enrollment documentation to enroll into the EFMP program. So after you get the enrollment documents, um, as well as provide any supporting documentation, supporting documentation such as an IEP, uh, IFSP, or a 504 plan, you would then submit all those enrollment documents to the Naval Medical Center um, Balboa EFMP coordinator. So once the coordinator reviews it, they'll review it for completion and make sure everything is filled out properly, and they'll submit it um, on your behalf. Um, make sure you receive a copy of the enrollment documents that you submitted in the event that you may need it in the future. Um, also, um, after that um, process, the EFMP coordinator was submitted to the uh, Social Life Screening Committee. The screening committee is a panel of physicians at the medical center here at, at Balboa. They will review it, um, make a category rec recommendation um, of what the enrollment um, sh category should be, um, and they will um, push the recommendation all the way to PERS. PERS also have physicians where they will also review the enrollment summaries um, and they will be the final decision as to what the category assignment should be in relation to um, the information listed on the enrollment summaries.
All right, so where can you get the enrollment summaries? You can get them from an EFMP case liaison at Fleet and Family Support Center. Um, you can get them from an EFMP coordinator at Naval Medical Center of San Diego, as well as you can get them from the EFMP point of contact within your command. Um, all three of these options are highlighted options, so um, it'll let the service member know uh, what they're responsible to fill out uh, as part of what is filled out on the, on the enrollment summary, and what the provider is responsible to fill out, as well as what the coordinator is responsible to fill out. If they choose to go to the PIPA's website, it was still fine. It's not highlighted, so sometimes um, they may be pushed, um, they may be missing uh, blocks where the provider may be having to fill out those portions, or um, service member may forget to fill out some type of administrative data. So the best way, we highly encourage everyone to go to either the Fleet Family Sports Center, or the MTF coordinator at Medical Center Balboa, or their assigned point of contact within their command. So who are those EFMP representatives in your local area? EFMP case liaisons. EFMP case liaisons are responsible for providing information and referral to nonprofit organizations to help alleviate or um, uh, address any of your pressing needs or concerns. Additional EFMP case liaisons are responsible for providing education and training in relation to the EFMP program. Um, they also offer non-medical case management. Um, that can be in the form of um, us getting in contact with our families to check in and see if there are any needs for our services. Additionally, that can be seen as creating a family service plan. So a family service plan is a plan or a plan of action where the case liaison assists in identifying any needs that the family members may have. We align the family members with resources and we also follow up with them to see if those beneficial resources were beneficial to alleviate the concerns. In the event that the needs were not met with that, um, with that resource, we uh, provide them with a different resource to help alleviate that concern. Um, we also provide enrollment or verification letters in the event that the CAT 4 or 5 family members are looking for priority housing um, and then the military housing requests a verification letter to confirm that they are a CAT 4 or 5 family. They can get them, the, the CAT 4 or 5 family members can in contact with their assigned case liaison um, in order to request a verification letter for that purpose. Additionally, case liaisons provide command point of contact training. Uh, this is a two-hour training um, for our service members. It's a collateral duty within their command, um, and it, it helps our program out um, greatly because the EFMP command point of contact uh, serves as a force multiplier um, for our program within their command. All right, the EFMP coordinator. They're usually located at a medical treatment facility. Here in the San Diego metro area, our um, EFP coordinators are located at Camp Pillinson or Naval Medical Center in San Diego. Um, they are responsible for reviewing the enrollment documents for completion, make sure everything's filled out properly, nothing's missing. Um, and then they are also um, responsible for training medical staff. In the event that the dependent's uh, medical provider is not a military medical provider, um, the EFMP coordinator is still able to provide that guidance of what the EFMP, pro EFMP program is, what, why does it matter to the service member, and how to properly fill out the enrollment summaries. Lastly, the EFMP point of contact. So the point of contact is a service member within the command. This is serves as their collateral duty. Um, so the, the EFMP point of contact is responsible for educating personnel within their command about the EFMP program. They are to refer potential enrollees to the EFMP coordinators at the medical centers. Um, if the EFM, um, that sponsor has EFMP dependents already enrolled into the program, they are due to refer their um, service member to their assigned case liaison. Um, that assigned case liaison can be found in their NFAS account by clicking on that EFM information tab in that service member's account. Additionally, the EFMP um, point of contact um, ensure it, um, service members, if they found um, are qualified, to provide them those uh, enrollment summaries that we previously discussed, um, as well as if there's a need to update on their enrollment, um, they provide them guidance of how to update their enrollment and direct them to the personnel for additional assistance. So I hope this brief provides you with a better insight of what the EFMP program is and how it can benefit you and your family. Um, in the event you're looking for any additional support, please don't hesitate to get in contact with your assigned case liaison. Have a great day.